welcome back to class four of our pro tip series and today we're going to talk about light in class three we talked about blending and putting pencils together and creating a gradient today we're going to look at how to apply this gradient and where to apply it i know i got more than one panicked email that doing the gradient was great but what do you do with it so we're going to start out this lesson with me sending you to go watch three videos. These are videos that I've done in the past that I reviewed and they really do cover everything I want to say on the topic. Now, the first one is the most important artistic coloring trick that exists. You must watch that because it's going to apply that gradient blending to everyday objects. The second video that I want you to watch and I'm leaving cards in it. All you have to do is push on the card. It's learning to create art rendering 3D shapes. And it has two parts, part one and part two. This is really the part three of that series. I never got to part three. That's my ADD. But this is the part three and the last part of that three series. If you watch the video, the most important artistic coloring trick that exists and the two learning to create art, rendering 3D shapes. And then the third one goes into it a little bit more. It's sort of like the beginnings of creating that three dimensional look on the page. Today, we're going to do the lighting, how to take those gradients and use it in the lighting. Now there is, there are two different subjects that integrate this lighting. One is shade and one is shadow. I'm going to handle shade and shadow in two different videos because I don't want to move too quickly. Today we're going to be concentrating on shade. <music> So in the context of art, what do I mean by shade? When you go outside and it's bright and it's sunny and somebody says, go into the shade, you look for the first area that's darker. When you go into that darker area, the colors change, but are the colors really changing? No, it's the, it's the light that changes. The color really remains the same. The, the tree doesn't magically change. The lighting changes. Well, art is an illusion and you're going to be creating that art on the paper. So that's what I mean by shade. We're going to shade this. Now, shadow is different. Shadow is what is cast off an object by the object blocking the light. You're going to handle these two things differently. And that's where a lot of people get confused. When you're shading something, you're creating the illusion of 3D. When you're shadowing something, you're adding a casting light onto the object. Shading you're going to do throughout the entire picture. Shadow you're going to do at the very end. And a lot of people give up on the shadow. They don't know how to do it. This is why I'm handling it in two different videos. One is going to be just on shading and the next one is going to be just on shadowing so that we don't get the two concepts confused. This picture I pulled from Nice Little Town number six. It's available on Etsy. It's by Tanya Stolova. She's got a fantastic book series. They're all similar pictures but different and they usually involve little mice. It's cartoony and whimsical and fairy-like. And if you like any of the hard-covered books, M Maria Taltre, Hannah Carzon, any of those artists, you will love Tanya's series. So this is one that I picked out. And I picked out this picture because it had a lot of ways of being able to be shaded and shadowed. I took this picture and I did it like a beginner would have done it. Very flat, no shading. The colors do not portray a three-dimensional form in any way. There's no depth. 
And this is how most beginners and some intermediate end up with their pictures because they didn't concentrate on the shading. What I did was the first layer. The first layer is always the most boring. You gotta get that wax down on the paper. And I did it very flat looking. You can handle shading in two different ways. The first way is by taking those pencils and creating that blend using the three pencils. When I said a dark, a medium, and a light. Now they don't have to be the same colors. You can create a tonal effect, and what I mean by tone is um, the lightness and the darkness on the paper. You can create it with different pencils, and it could be an orange, a yellow, and a red. Or it could be a uh, three pencils that sit directly next to each other. Um, crimson red, crimson lake, and a pink. One would represent the light, one would represent the medium and the dark. Another way of getting shade on your picture is to use your gray pencils. Now, a lot of people, oh, I don't use gray. I've had people actually say they've never touched their gray pencils because they think that the color gray in the box of the Prismacolor or whatever set you're using is only the gray whenever you are coloring a gray object and that's not what they're for your gray pencils are there for you to tone and tint and shadow your paper you can add gray into any of these colors and create the same color but a darker version of that color we're going to develop this picture and we're going to do it in all the ways so that you get a better idea of how to handle things. The first colors that I'm choosing to use is gonna be a three, and it's gonna be sienna brown, dark brown, and yellow. Yellow representing the lightest color, dark brown the darkest, and then sienna brown is your middle tone. Tones will go from white all the way through till black. Black is the absence of light. So you always use your black and white pencil in addition to your three or your darkest gray. I've started off with the mid-tone in some of these areas. Now this is the color of Sienna Brown. You can see it's just, it blends right in. Whatever is going to be underneath something is going to be darker. So here we have the eaves of the house, right here. I know that everything that sits underneath that is always going to be darker. Now, there's gonna be shadow in there, but to put a general shade on it, you will see that all of a sudden, it, this thing is gonna to come to life. Then I'm gonna blend in the mid-tone as it starts to come out of the light, and that would be the sienna. And you're just creating that gradient that we created in the last class. Okay, and then as the light goes into the brightest areas, which would be right here, because there's nothing really to shade or shadow it, and the light is hitting it directly, that's where I'm going to add in my lightest shade. So I'm going to turn you on to hyperlapse. I'm going to do this. see that it's starting to take on some dimension. I've still only used the dark brown, the sienna brown, 
and this is probably canary yellow. Then I blended it up with a white pencil. That helped tone it down a little bit. It didn't make the yellow seem so brass. And the one color I haven't added in is black, and I'm gonna do that now. It's a little bit early for black on any picture. I wouldn't normally put black, but I just want you to see the difference, what it can do for a picture. I'm gonna add in a couple of other colors. If you're doing the CMW course, you should be writing this down. They should be going on your blending pages and in the individual color pages. And the colors that I'm going to be adding in is a combo of pumpkin orange, burnt okra, and then I'm gonna add in some espresso. So these are the three newest ones. I'm still gonna go back and forth, and that's the yellow, the sienna, and the dark brown. So you have two different triplet combos so far. Over here I switched the colors up a little bit. For this I used burnt okra, espresso, and then I used yellowed orange. On the slots over here on the house, let's see, I'll do one for you. Burnt okra as the mid-tone, I'll use the espresso as my dark and I brought it together with the lighter color, and that was the yellowed orange. Now, to get an even darker tone on it, you add a little bit of black. And you get a nice highlighted area. I did it over here, and I used the same combination over here. And for the lights, I did a gradient using pumpkin orange, canary yellow, and white. And that's how I got the lights and the lamp light. The only other thing on here that I haven't picked my colors for really are the plants. And I'm gonna just use a combination of lime peel. This is lime peel. This is apple green. I'm gonna add in some true green, some dark green, and that's how I'm going to do the plant life. Daddy was a good man. He taught me wrong from right. Worked full time with his cancer. Knowing God's grace would get us by When he'd come home late from work He'd always sit me on his knee He'd say, son, love your country And protect your family He charged burning buildings Fought the war in 73 And I knew from that day on He's who I wanted to be American Idol Standing strong in his face Don't need a million people To show him the way He can't dance like a pop star He can't sing a song in tune He's an American Idol Red, white, and blue For me and you Gone back to work, late shift every night Serving dinner to the locals With some coffee and a friendly smile Cause daddy's sickness came back strong And so did the bills In 
now every little tip goes to pay for the pills. She's dead on her feet, never looks for sympathy. And to me, she represents all I want to be an American idol. Stands up for what is right. You don't need to hear the crowd roar. Spotlight. She never dyed her hair, no crazy tattoos. She's an American idol, red, white, and blue for me and you. Up here on the stage, looking back at me. Every disability The world is gonna be Completely healed Then a young man In a wheelchair Stilled the crowd When he raised his hand Said sir Can I speak now We're far from done with this picture I'm going to stop here because I don't want to use up all the tooth on the page. I'm saving it because the next thing we're going to do with this is we're going to shadow it. So I will see you in class five. Stay safe and stay healthy. Take care. Love is the real miracle pill. Then he said, I don't believe God makes mistakes. And there's a reason for each being he creates That's about when I woke up Started thinking about